up beautiful people welcome once again to HM Clothings and in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful waterfall jacket here yes I have made this many 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 times so someone just asked me to make for her and that's what I want to do so I just want to film the process show you guys the process and it's very 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 easy I'm sure you've seen it you've come across it so you can add sleeves if you want to this particular one I'm making there's no sleeve there very easy process you do not need patterns for this you can make and sell at your workplace and you know the way I'll explain it to you it's something that as a baby self you can do okay that's when I mean as a baby I mean if you're just learning how to sew this is a project you can do do it in beautiful colorful fabrics even in plain fabrics do it as much as you want and you can sell it for very good prices and make good profit on it so like triple of your cost price you know you can make on selling this jacket okay so if this is something you're interested in seeing how this will be made please to keep on watching and yeah let's dive right into today's video thank you so much for all the loves you know my video thank you for the love i was surprised that somebody said she saw me you guys already see me hey jesus please i have to go to a very remote location <laughs> But it's good it's good i'm so happy i'm so happy that this channel is creating impact i'm really grateful to you guys yeah let's start let's start this all right so for this project i have this beautiful fabric here yeah um you just need about two yards of any print or fabric you're using be it plain or printed fabric just need about two yards so i have three yards here there will be leftovers i'll use for another project and you need your lining for the front okay so once you have that you can begin right away so let me start you need your measurements of your clients remember whenever you're taking your measurements take it accurately you need the bust measurements the measurements you need let me tell you so you need your bust measurement take that one round the bust you don't need to take it tightly whenever you're taking the measurement it should just be um level so just take it this way okay so you see how it is especially because you're making like a free kind of thing take your bust measurement that's with a very good bra your client is wearing a good bra take you don't need the under bust well yeah just take that one loosely mm -hmm. see how loose it is because the jacket is not fitted fitted yeah jackets you can wear under free um like black dress however you want to style it i don't know for you how you want to style it okay so you take the under bust measurement not so tightly then mm, your hip measurement so that one you take the hip measurement around the fullest part of your hip where your bum is okay so once you've taken the bust the waist either your stomach yeah your stomach is better or your under bust any of those measurements your hip then you need your shoulder measurement so that's at the back like so take the shoulder measurement from where one shoulder um, where the arm attaches to the shoulder blade and yeah like that okay so once you have those measurements you've taken that for your client or for yourself if you're doing it for yourself then the length of course the length where you want your jacket to get to so i usually let the jacket get to my hip i want you to actually when i wear maybe like um yeah to my hip so if you want it on your waist wherever you want if you want it longer than your hip maybe um three inches above your knee just take the length however you want it but this is getting to the hip or just below the hip so now that we have this measurement we're going to take our fabric and fold okay
all right so we are going to be cutting the back first and i want to fold this just into two so that i get like i'm using um one quarter of my hip measurement all right so once you use the one quarter of your hip measurement to make your fold the next thing to do is to square the measurements on your fabric okay so from this top from this top here okay which would act as your shoulder line you can go low because you don't want all these um, lines to show let me change my chalk you don't want all these lines to show so i'll do this line here i'm going one inch low i don't want all this logo it's a good thing to always um it's a good thing to always remove the logo whenever you're sewing so if you're using a cheap fabric and you're using ready to i'm not saying use a cheap fabric go but in case your clients will not be able to tell by the name you know by the name of the logo they can't tell if it's cheap or not <laughs> if you're using any of those you wouldn't want this to show so please just go low so that you can cut off the part that has the logo you don't want it to ever ever show in your ready to wear garments now from this point you want to measure the bust line for this my client i'm going to be using um 10 inches because that bust line will also serve as the armhole line so i'll just draw the line straight that way you want to measure the under bust line so mine is like 14 inches i'm doing it straight that way horizontally i'm also going to measure my hip line i'm using 23 inches straight horizontal why i'm even using without a ruler why, why i'm drawing without a ruler is because the lines here are like straight so it's easy for me to just follow it but ideally you don't use your hand to draw straight lines though. then the length of my jacket is just going to get to about 29 inches because i'm going to use one inch to hem it so it's going to come back to 28 inches i'm just using 29 inches there okay but if you want it lower than that please go low okay i'll use 29 and a half because by the time you sew half inch up here use one inch to turn it in yeah 29 and a half is fine you use one inch to hem the bottom you use half inch at the top there so it reduces the measurement okay so now that we square this line, it's very good, we can begin. Now, you take your client's bust measurement and divide by four. So my client's bust measurement is 34 inches. And if I divide 34 by four inches, I'll have 8.5. So on here, I'm going to mark 8.5 here. Then I'll also mark one inch for ease on this jacket because the jacket is not really like form fitting on the body. So I'll be adding one inch, depending on how big your client is. Since this is a small size, one inch allowance is fine. If the person was on the more curvier side or bigger side, you wouldn't use one inch. You make it uh, maybe like one and a half inches, okay? So that um, there will be room just in case. Yeah, so one inch is fine for a medium to a small size. Depending on the bust size now, you know yeah you're doing like a bus 38 bus 40 you know that's already going towards the large side one inch won't be too okay you can do one and a half inch because this one inch too also includes the sewing allowance you don't want it too wide on the person yeah okay okay now for the under bust measurement my client's under bust is 28 inches and 28 divided by 4 is 7 inches so I'm going to use 7 inch here then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance which is here at about there okay then on the hip line my client's hip is 36 inches 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches this is nine inches here then add one inch for your sewing allowance as well now on the shoulder line right measure your shoulder measurement so my client's shoulder is 15 inches but you're not going to do exactly 15 inches 
you're going to do 16 inches because of all the sewing that goes on half of 16 inches is eight okay on that shoulder so from there you want to draw a straight line down first of all then curve it okay so let's do that we are going to be joining this first sorry about the dog noise though. i really wonder why that dog is barking okay then here join it here okay then just go down don't pencil you don't really don't need to pencil it just straight down pencil it just a little if you want to at all now this one first draw it straight down straight down first then you can now curve it just curve it okay before you cut this back you want to go low on the shoulder just go low one inch you want to go low by one inch so mark that you're sloping it on the shoulder now for the neckline you're doing just one inch lower you're just going one inch low and the width should be about two and a half inches so except the person is on the bigger side maybe from a, um, if the shoulder is like 17 18 you can do the width to be three inches and maybe the depth to be one and a half inch but since this is a small size i'm using one inch by 2.5 inches 2.5 being the width and one inch being the depth so from there i'm covering it then i'm just going to join that point with my one inch shoulder slope at the edge okay so i hope you get it quite simple quite easy just rewatch it again you understand now i'm cutting it up so this is what you'll be having you can see that this my client is really small and you just open it up and yeah this is the back of our jacket now I want to go to a wider place because the floor um, the front needs to be wider i'm going to take it to a wider place so that i can cut it and you can see exactly what i'm doing so yeah let's go to my floor <laughs> all right guys so right now i have folded this fabric into two that is if you look at it very well i just folded it into two so whatever is left of your fabric if you're using exactly two yards please two yards means if you're small like your bust on your hip is not more than 38 but if you are more than that you'll be needing maybe like two and a half or so so i hope you can see this i'm going to be placing this part of the um jacket that's the side seams on this folded part of my fabric okay we have the armhole and other parts it's going to be on the folded side of my fabric like so on the edge and this part of the back that is folded you know that's where the um, front part will be okay so now what we want to do is we are going to be measuring from here from this folded edge here this is where the folded edge is we're measuring from there about 18 to 20 inches long so i have just about 18 inches i work with what i have here 18 inches long yeah and you can outline all those parts the shoulder the sides the armhole just outline it with the chalk okay so it doesn't move then from here you're actually going down from the shoulder point you're going down three inches your front is three inches lower as the neckline okay so from that three inches you can just give it a good curve then from there we are measuring okay so 
from neither of it out. From that point is where we're doing 18 inches long. So you're going to be measuring 18 inches as you go. So it's like from here, 18 inches straight to this edge, to this edge, straight down. But for my front, I'll go lower by just one inch more. No, 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 one inch can. Just from here, do a straight joining seam. But you still need to curve it anyway because that straightness will still be sharp. You can either curve it, be curving your seam as you go. Because if it's straight, it's just too sharp. And you want it to fall well. You wouldn't just want it just straight that way. Okay, so yeah. Now from here, you're coming that way to meet it. I hope you saw what we did. So curve this part, don't just make it straight, if I had used just the straight ruler, I'll be having something like this, sharp, something like this, sharp, right? This is quite sharp. So from here, if the straight line can be your guideline, then you cannot draw like a curve to just follow so that it flows smoothly and nicely into the jacket next you can now cut i'll just can extend it a little if i want to then i'll just cut using the parameters we just did just it too simple so this one falls gives the waterfall flowing effect you can decide to use it in another print or fabric on the inside but I'll just be using satin lining to give it that shine on the inside and my lining is only for the front I, I will not line the back just see how I go about it okay Now, because this satin lining stretches a lot, I did not, um, I just removed like half inch here and at the bottom I did like one inch because this lining knows how to stretch. I was still going to trim what I cut up here so that it's not just the exact measurement of the jacket. If you are using maybe cutting lining, you may just cut exactly exactly the measurement but there are some um fabric that stretches more than the required okay so let me turn let me flip it the other way so that you can have an idea of what i mean <clears throat> so you can see that the only place that was kind of like um trimmed a little more the armhole and the shoulder is fine then this part that I'm going to be turning inside out, I went up a little on the sides here, like half inch has been trimmed here, like half inch. Then here I still need to trim more. So I'll trim like half inch away as well. So that by the time you sew everything, it doesn't start picking on the outside. Okay, me, I'm just eyeballing it. But if you, are, if you know that you are not good with eyeballing, please measure. Okay, so you can see it's a random half inch, half inch, 
they hear one inch because when I even read this way, when I say this way and iron it, it's going to relax well. So that's just it for the front. I'm not using lining for the back, like I said. So let's just go and start sewing everything up. And you see how I'm going to sew it up and get a very clean jacket as you saw in the intro. All right guys, so first thing you do, this is our front with this thing. I need to sew the front, like flip it with the lining first of all, before I join the back to it. So what I'm going to be doing is right sides facing right sides. I'm going to sew along the side seam and along this, um, let me show you what I mean. So I've taken one pair that's either the left or the right. So right side facing the right side. I'm going to sew along this neckline. So it's round, round the bottom, round there and the side, leaving just the shoulder and the armhole open to flip it inside out. So do that for both pairs of the front before we continue. So I can start sewing from this part since I have this lining um, lower than I have it higher than the main fabric so I can start sewing from that part then now adjust it and sew from the neckline to meet up with that part do you understand I'm sewing from this bottom part sew it first then I'll now come and continue sewing from the neckline here match it here sew it round so that I can meet up with that part so that I don't have any gaping thing then also, I'll now go back to the top here and sew from the um, armhole down to finish up. So I'll do that for both sides. Once I'm done, I'll give it a very good press before I now come back to show you what next to do. This is very easy, so let's quickly do that. The only thing I did was to um, sew a bias so that I can turn this neck at the back like so. You need to also notch before you turn, okay? And for the two fronts, the side pieces for the front, I joined everything like I already explained, only to flip it from this place inside out. And you actually need to give it, give it a very good press before um, continuing doing anything. Yeah, so I'll have this on the front. I'll have this on the front like so. So I'll need to iron it very, very, very well. Let me flip the other side. So just put your hands through the armhole and the shoulder that you do not, you're saying every other thing closed aside this. So I'll just bring it out from there. So once I'm done with giving it a good press and everything, I'll come back here and show you what next to do. In the next 30 minutes, we should be through. So. Yeah, let's quickly do all of that and be back here in just a minute. Okay, guys, so here is the front. You can see how the inside is looking. That's why I used the setting on the inside. So it looks so beautiful. So see that part where the um, lining was like one inch smaller than the front you see that's why i saw that part first i'm sure you saw that video you saw that part go and watch it again you understand it better 
then everything turned in just like I said the shoulder and the armhole okay and this gives the drapey waterfall effect that extension in the front which we did same for the second side yeah so the ironing gives it the perfect so you can also iron this into shape <coughs> before you give it out okay everything being draped and looking lovely ready to be sewn with the back now for the back this is that bias part that i turned i'll just sew just on top i'll also fold the sides but if you want to do um if you want to serge it go ahead to i'll just fold it inside like so sew it join the front to the back along the sides then i'll sew the um um, the bottom I'll hem the bottom of the back then I'm gonna as well as put it into the sleeve part that's the sleeveless part I'm gonna use a bias to turn it as well so you match up along the side seams when you match up here you can see that it's just a little part that's allowed for my hem so I'll just um, so that part if you wanted more for the hem should have left a lot more but i just left about half inch remember for the okay one inch for the hem but i think a good number has already gone into the whole body oh no 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 see it though oh okay here it is yeah yeah it is so it still matches up i still have that one inch for the hem so i'll hem that part so the sides then use a bias to turn the armhole then for this um shoulder part i'll put it this way sandwich the back shoulder into the front so it first before i turn it with the bias and that is basically it you see all the steps as i go along and yeah we'll be done with this project in just a second so let's quickly finish all of this up okay guys so we are finally through with this project you can see that's why we didn't even finish turning everything on the inside 
Okay, guys, so we can see that we are through with everything with this. All right, guys, we are through with everything in this project. And you can see that despite there's no lining on the back, everything looks so crisp and clean. Yeah, the front, so even if this part shows, but if you want to go ahead and do double fabric or maybe use a black fabric on the whole inside so that it can wear inside out, you can do that as well yeah so the things the materials you need for this project are just very very little okay the fabric the lining not even up to one and a half yard you need i'm not sure like about one yard or one and a half or one one quarter to be on the safe side then your tread bias that's all that's all that's all i'm sure you understood every single thing okay yeah something quick one something i did here along the shoulder was aside from that one inch slope i did i still had to cut it like half inch extra again because when i um when i was sewing i saw that there was kind of like a gaping that place will form like a gaping it will sit well along the shoulder so i had to trim it like half inch down again so please put that in mind you can do that if you want to do that not if you want to do one and a half inch sloping from the beginning instead of one inch slope big size though um, small size though sometimes you may even need to do like two inch slope so that it sits really well on that shoulder then you go ahead to give this a very very good press and yeah that's the end of this project so you can go ahead to put your label and yeah if you did enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up also subscribe if you are yet to okay drop your comments below i love reading from you all till we see you in our next tutorial stay safe god bless you bye